Hey guys, Dan here from Worldwide Tech Reviews, and I've got a pretty sweet video for you guys today. Basically, it's my top five favorite applications uh, at the moment that I've been playing around with. So number five is Angry Birds Seasons, uh, the Valentine's Day edition. So as you see, it'll load up, and you've got a new little chapter here called Hogs and Kisses. Um, you'll see here there's 15 levels, plus three years, you've got 18 plus three here, which is 21 levels in total. These ones are the golden egg ones, which are special ones that you got to find um, in these other levels. And basically, I'll just show you a bit of gameplay from it. Let's go to this one. The same basic game that we're all used to. Classic Angry Birds. A lot of fun, and uh, it's got a new feel to it. I'll show you a very crazy mission, which I haven't actually seen in an Angry Birds before, which actually amazed me how crazy it is. This one. It's just crazy like the screen is cluttered with crap and somehow I've got to get through I haven't completed this one yet as you can see try to get through it today but yeah it's a very decent addition to the Angry Birds universe and it's a lot of fun if you enjoy Angry Birds so definitely check that one out uh, if you have Angry Birds Seasons it's just a free update for you guys if you don't have Seasons download it and you will get that Valentine's one you'll get a Christmas one plus you'll get a Halloween one. So it's definitely a worthwhile purchase. Check that one out. My number four is Infect Them All. This application, I think, is a few months old now, but definitely a fun application to get into if you've never seen it before. As you see here, you've got Campaign, Survival, and Blitz. So you've got three different game modes here. I'll just go into Campaign mode. As you see in Campaign, I'm, I've completed the top one. So there's 50 stages to complete in Campaign. Then you have an unlimited mode, so it's not like you're going to run out of content, but it does get a little monotonous after a while, so definitely not the best game, but definitely a great game to waste a bit of time. I'll just show you a bit of gameplay here. Basically, all you have to do is you control this zombie here, and you can infect people by holding it on, and it'll actually infect them and gain your health back, or you can actually infect them by tapping, and then they will become a zombie themselves and spread the horde. So it's definitely a fun game to get into, especially as it gets further on and um, it just gets crazy and the screen just gets cluttered with zombies and enemies. It's just really full on and a lot of fun. So I definitely recommend that one. That's my number four. Now my number three is V Particle Plus. It's a very simple game, but it's executed very well and it's just a lot of fun really. One thing that I loved about this game was the pure amount of content. As you see here we've got Easy, Challenge, Sandbox, Hardcore and Special and in these there are heaps of levels in each of them. So you've got the five sets here plus you've got 40 levels in that one, 10 in that one, 40 in that one, 80 in that one, and 30 in that one, so there's just so much content, guys. And I'll show you a bit of con uh, a bit of the gameplay. Basically, you control these particles, and you've got to move, him, or move them through this kind of maze as such. But when you get into it a bit more, um, you have obstacles that can actually destroy your particles, and they actually start back at the start point, and you've got to get them all through to the end to complete it. Due to the mass amount of content you're not going to become bored uh, which is what I really liked about this game it's nothing spectacular like it's a very simple idea but the pure like the sheer amount of content you're getting out of this game definitely makes it worthwhile so definitely check out that one V Particle Plus I'm giving Dead Space number two uh, another pretty recent game definitely recommend this one it's uh, great um, graphics great story great gameplay and very immersive uh, the controls aren't the best, but we all know touch screens have a bit of issue with gaming. And there we go. So this is the game here. As you see, the graphics are quite spectacular. Very crisp. So it's a horror survival game with a um, very immersive story. So if you like those kind of games, you'll definitely enjoy this. If not, still check it out, because I think you'll enjoy it, because it's quite a, um enjoyable game. A lot of people can actually get into these kind of games. So I definitely do recommend it. 
that is Dead Space. Now, my number one is Tap DJ. This application, when it was released, I was blown away because I played it on the iPad, I think, prior. And then it came out on the um, iPhone and iPod Touch, and they did a really great job with it. And it's just a lot of fun to play around with. Yeah, so I'm not, I'm not a DJ at all. Never done any of this kind of stuff. And uh, this game, or well, this app, just really immerses you into the kind of DJ world as such. Um, as you see, you've got two tracks that you can put on here. You can play them both at the same time. Or uh, you've got the auto fader here. As you see, you can scratch the track here. You can hold it in the middle to slow it down. You've also got the volume here, and you've got the speed of the track if you want to um, increase or decrease the actual rate that the track plays at. Then you've got all these menus, uh, all these options here, sorry. You've got the equalizer, you've got all the effects here. You've then got a queue, which you can queue up different tracks and different parts of the track. You can then um, share a mix, record a mix, record voice, uh, all these other stuff here. And you can go in here and you've got your own little soundboard with 22 sample sounds. And it's just such a great application, guys. Like, you can really get into this app and just play around with it and learn some new tricks, really. Uh, you don't have to be a DJ, you don't have to know anything about music, and you can just get into it and enjoy it yourself. And that's the one thing that really took this app to the next level for me. Purely the fact that they made DJing so simplistic and made it really enjoyable so everyone can have a go at it and uh, do some real basic DJ moves. And that's my video guys, that is my top 5 apps. Thank you so much for watching, let me know what you thought of my reviews, let me know what you think of our channel, anything we can change, anything you like about it, whatever. I really like feedback guys and uh, so do the other guys in our team. So definitely do that. Hit us up with a like. Uh, it helps us out a lot. Uh, helps the video get noticed as well. So thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, have a great day, guys.